Well, viewers, to the 2011 Avalon Air Show, I'm here with the FOT Steve Fawcett. He's a squadron leader with the Royal Australian Air Force, flying the F-18 Hornet. He's a Hornet instructor based out of Williamtown in uh, New South Wales, Australia. G'day, mate. How are Yeah, good, good. Now, the 2011 Air Show has a fair bit of uh, F-18 displays today. Can you tell us about the displays? Yep. Uh, well, we've obviously got the statics here. So we've got the classic and the uh, supers, which are being provided by one squadron. Uh, and then today we have a four-ship close formation uh, display which will be going on in the afternoon and then we have a single ship uh, handling display and then this evening we'll also have uh, a single ship which is going to kick off the uh, the night uh, display which I think there's going to be some uh, pyros or some kind of uh, fireworks in there as well so uh, that's pretty much what we can expect today. Cool, cool. Now people that are unaware of the F-18 Hornet, can you tell us some specs on the aeroplane? Uh, yep, well what I operate is the, uh, the classic Hornet there so um, you know it's a single seat multi-role fighter uh, it's been around for about 25 years as we have the roulettes coming in um, and you know although the airframe's quite old it's been continuously uh, updated and uh, pretty much you know it's it's leading edge as far as capabilities for for hornets around the world there so a lot of a uh, lot of updates to keep the uh, the airframe relevant okay now the uh, the classic hornet versus the uh, the super hornet can you tell us some the differences between the two well, uh, obviously the Super is a lot larger, has uh, you know larger range, um, can carry uh, more gas, more weapons. Um, essentially, the flight characteristics are pretty similar from what I've gleaned talking to uh, my compatriots up there at One Squadron. Um, however, you know obviously the Super Hornet is new; it's a new airframe. So avionics, probably the biggest thing they have in there is the AESA radar, which um, is one of their uh, you know one of the real draw cards for that airframe. Um, as opposed to our, our standard radar in, in the classic here. Um, but, uh, you know, pretty much we're set up to interoperate with those guys and uh, we're going to be working together there and we're working on that right now. So uh, classics and supers expect them to be working together um, and it's going to be a pretty uh, good combination. OK, Flood, thanks so much for talking to us today. Catch more on uh, flight.org or check out our podcast on flightpodcast.com.